Hey guys, I'm back with the final review of Beyblade Metal Master stuff that I bought. So far, that is, so far. Alright, so I'm re finally reviewing the Triple Battle set and I have to say I love the stadium. Let's get started with what it comes. The two exclusive tops, Meteo El Drago, the first type, because we don't have the retail version, or the Rush and the Salt versions. Oh, spoiler, that's going to be part of the update. Uh, and uh, the recoloring of Galaxy Pegasus. We get two bay cards or character cards. Really cool. Two tools. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Pegasus tool. I think it's the second tool that came with it. I know this is the first. Because I have so many red tools, so I'm not too sure if this is the right one. Anyway, we got a regular, extremely cool bronze or dark gold or gold or whatever you want to call this color. El Drago Ripcord Launcher. And a black Ripcord, which is pretty dull. I wish they would have given us a golden one. And over here... We've got Pegasus Launcher and Ripcord. What I really like about these is that it's tattooed on, so we don't have to have the sticker. And it's extremely cool. They didn't just make a little tattoo on right here, they made it so it fits almost everything. And that's exactly the case with El Dragos. Rosie? What's wrong? Oh, okay. Uh. Just let my dog pass by here. Go, Rose. Go. Alright, um... Alright, she went up. She likes to look out the window, so... Okay. So, I really like this, especially the case with, uh, El Drago. It's really cool. Now we've got the stadium in the back and it's three cores. We've got the I believe this is a zip core. Let me check. Yeah, we've got the zip core, the deflector core, and the chaos core. Now this is what I like to call the default core or the red core when I can't remember the names. Spiral core or green core when I can't remember its name. Yellow or gold core or zag core. No, but this one I do know, I do know it's the chaos core. I do know that. And then we've got the triple battle set in the background. Now, this stadium is really good. I'm just telling you. Don't listen to what those other people are saying that it's super bad. The only reason to get it is for medio. No, that's not true. This stadium is good. It's actually better, in my opinion, than the other two that I have. The stadium is just about the exact same size as a Super Vortex. In fact, let me go and get it. Okay. As you can see here. Oh yeah, and this is where you put the cores. Um, as you can see, they're just about they're just about the exact same size. I don't know how am I gonna do this. Um, okay, just like that. See, they're the exact same size, except this is just a little bit wider with these things popping out. And when I stack them up on top of the uh, El Drago set, I put the Super Vortex first, then this one, because this one fits on top of that. Alright, now let's go on with the review. As you can see, this stadium has three slopes, three pockets, and a big gap. It's only a big gap until you put this in. So... Let's just put it in. And there you go. 
you can change the course by either tilting it up or you grab onto this little groove thingy over here and lift it up with your nail same thing I don't actually have nails since I cut them with my own hands, you know, like, I use my hands to cut my nails. I can't stand cutting it with a nail cutter, so th th getting this out for me is a little bit hard. Alright, and this is stadium with all three cores in. Now, what's good about this stadium is that not only does it change the core, it's also sort of a storage. As you can see over here, on the bottom of each core, it's sort of deep. Now, I just figured this out yesterday when I did the gap with when I did the striker review, and my mom had to come in to watch a movie. I mean, her soap operas, because my stepfather was watching a movie that she didn't like in his room, it was a horror movie, so I had to stop and put Ray Striker in here. Instead of putting him in here like this, it won't fit, but since I was already on the parts and he was disassembled, this is what I did. I put its parts in like this, see? And then I have put this core on, and since you have to put this in those little slopes or pockets, it fits in perfectly and yes that does mean that you can do this with the other two stadium with the other two cores here's an example it fits in perfectly Oops. Yeah. all right then let's get strike right out of the way now let's start actually reviewing this stadium. So like I said, there's three slopes, three pockets. Now, with whenever a Beyblade comes into these pockets, two things can happen. First thing is, just let me get a bay. My Battle Galaxy Pegasus. Alright, so first thing is, the bay could just... Since that this is so tight, as you can see, the fusion wheel is already touching the ground and the wall at the same time, and it's very hard for it to move, as you can see. And it could either die out instantly or right away, or if it was hit hard enough, it could come out, it could stay just a little bit, and then just jump out, only if it was hit hard enough. That both stuff has happened to Galaxy before. Now with the slope, um, you can pretty much tell that this thing here has a big slope. All right, going straight down. It's all slope until right here, of course. Now these slopes, if a baby is hit, it's gonna go running straight back to the center all the time the bays are always going to the center no matter what and that's a good thing now the deflector core I'm gonna review these cores in a little bit and this is the zip core uh, I, said, I said deflector anyway so it's very good for attack types but actually it's really good for attack types because there's such a big slope that if it was a stamina type it could easily knock it out into the pockets but that doesn't mean that it's always going to go into the slope it's sometimes attack types are also going to circle around here defense type i haven't battled any defense yet so i really can't say um i have battled balance they do pretty good and stamina do somewhat good um in my opinion but i'm pretty sure uh, uh, i'm pretty sure that defense will also do a good job on the stadium since most defense move around like an attack type sometimes depending how strong you launch and how you launch it my scorpio does my leon does my rock leon at least 
so yeah, that's what I have to say about the stadium uh, again. Um, so yeah, let's just get on with the uh, core review. The zip core, three straight lines, and with a blue printed pattern. Now this doesn't feel like El Drago's printed stuff, so I don't think it's actually gonna get dust on your performance tips and make it weaker. I don't think so. So yeah, it's all red too, and it's tinted, tinted in. Now, as you can see, the zip core lines is pointing straight to the pockets. At least in this way. Let me see if it points towards the stage. This no, no matter what, it's always going to be pointing straight towards the pockets. So. If your bay is trapped here, and another bay is from the pocket, bam, you could go straight in here. Of course, whenever you're battling, they're always going to go in the direction sometimes of this. So depending on how you launch, it could go in here, it could go anywhere actually with this. The zip core is actually pretty good, but it's not my favorite core. And again, these little proof things here don't actually affect battle at all, which is pretty cool. Next, we have the deflector core. For me, it looks like wind or leaves or something, I don't know. But, as you can see, the deflector core is aiming in all direction. It's aiming to the slope, another slope, pocket, another pocket. So it's basically evened out. Now, it does affect all tops differently, uh, I mean, the spin engine, if it's going to the left or right, it does, all of them do actually, but if it's going to the left, the order changes, this here will be going pretty much here, and then here, and then here, so, I guess that you could say that left spinning bays have an advantage, because it won't be in danger of hitting the pockets, if a bay blade comes in and attacks them. But that's very rare, and also it will make them pretty much like fly around, it's like deflecting, like a shield. That's pretty cool. And it's a nice green pattern with indents, and a golden printed thingy, or tattoo, or I don't know if this here will chip or anything, but so far it has not affected battles like the El Drago tattooed on the stadium. Next, we have the Chaos Core. I love this core. It's all golden, as you guys can pretty much see. It's got like zigzags or Z's around with some red stuff on it. Now, this core will basically make your base. You are gonna have to launch your base a little bit harder on this core. Because since it's all zigs and zags, you don't want them to just land in one place and then slowly and slowly go around because if that's the case then it's only going to stay on one spot back and forth now if you want to launch it stronger it's going to go rapidly crazy around the stadium i'm going to do a quick battle with each of these stadiums with each of these scores so and against race strikers so I'll be right back all right let's start this very fast battle against striker versus galaxy pegasus battle version i'll be using the uh... uh... rev up launcher now i'll just do a quick battle just a very quick battle in each of the cores so let's just get started and i'll be launching striker in first actually no, pegasus Okay, fail. Wait too long. And I am using the zip core, by the way. Okay, so you guys 
guys saw that it was pretty cool and as, as you can see there aren't any dust on their performance tip since they're rubber they pick up dust now let's go into the deflector core I'll be launching the striker in first Okay, as you can see again, no dust at all. And like I said, they are always smashing to each other in this stadium. Well, most of the time at least. Now then, let's just quickly move on. And it's good because it's fast battles. Alright, let's move on. I'll be launching Striker in for it. I actually know since Galaxy 1, I'll be launching Galaxy. Chaos Core. So as you can see, Striker does deliver heavy blows in this stadium. And Pegasus, some pretty good blows, I guess, but not against Striker. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the Triple Battle set. I extremely recommend you guys buy this set. It is extremely awesome. When I bought it, my mom was complaining that I already have a stadium this size. And it's just a gimmick that's not really good. But I told her that I'm going to test this out and see if I like it. I did test it out, just in case. And I love this stadium. It's the best stadium out of all of them. And don't go buy it right away. If you feel like you have to return it, it's your loss because this stadium is really good. And if you're buying it just for Meteor Drago, why? Buy it for this stadium as well. Now... On one of my reviews, I oh, oh right on the collection. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, either the collection or one of the three reviews. I said that I was gonna show you guys a quick brief review or a, a brief look at Mido of Drago. So let's just get him out. Oh, and as you can notice right here, he's number one this time, not number two. Because. Oh. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing left in here. See? Galaxy Pixis was number one in the Super Vortex, and El Drago was number two. Alright then. Now, I'm just gonna, since I can't really actually sh show how good he is on the Triple Battle set, I'm just gonna show you guys something really cool. Now, I'm just gonna be using... Um, his launcher. Now, this is a standard record launcher and it's standard size. So just let me show you guys how wild he be he behaves with just this. Let me just straighten it out just a little bit more. Okay, it's pretty good now. Now. This is with the teeth um, showing. Oh, well, with the full head, let's say like that. <laughs> yeah, my Storm Aquarium can only do that with the string launcher. Now, I even launched him really weak. Let's see how fast he goes really strong. I guess it's somewhat different, but Meteor Drago also has the spin stealing ability. Now, um, don't worry about the paint chipping off because I've done this about five times and the paint never chipped off, not once. All right, um, and also I'll be using a very weak Beyblade. I mean, he is pretty good, but I'm gonna, only gonna launch him with the Ripcord launcher.
just so that to be sure the paint won't chip off. And I'll also be doing the spin stealing ability. Alright. Remember, I'm watching Dark Wolf. As you can see, now time for El Drago to come in. As you can hear, El Drago is getting faster. And the second wolf dies, El Drago dies, as you can see. No paint chipping at all. None, not one. Now then, I just really want to try out it with the string at all. Let's just quickly take a look here. Even with the string launcher that I launched both with, Meteo still won. Now then I just want to quickly check if there's any paint chipping. No, there isn't. Now, I am feeling tempted to try with the Rev Up launcher. There we go. I can't believe it. Even with the rev up launcher, Mirio El Drago won by hand spin. Well, this isn't technically the review, so I really don't actually want to go too much into detail. And still, no paint chipping. One thing I forgot to show off was the base. So the base, I've already showed them off in the unboxing though, but these bays are a very nice recolor, very cool. I love Meteor Hall Drago, he's so cool. Wow, yeah. Alright then, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, um, again I do recommend you get the triple battle set. And also watch my update. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to do this in the strike review since I had time. And this video has been way too long already. So, I just want to quickly show you guys the thing I said was somewhat special to me. Alright then. I pretty, again, ask your parents or your older brothers, maybe even you watched this show when you were younger um but hey it is this is the uh, 8 inch uh, bandai wait which company is it bandai it's the 8 inch bandai classic lionel um figure that i bought when i went to toys r us a couple of days ago this guy right over here is extremely special to me for a certain reason because I am named after this guy. His name is Lion O, but my name is just pronounced Lion, and it's spelled different. But still, and th this is the reason why I bought him because he's very special to me. It's the way. It's the reason why I got my name. The reason why my brother got it. And he's 22. The first thing he came into my room that night, I just told him to look around, and he just picked this guy up, and he's like. It's been a long time since I've seen him. So, I did pick up a couple of other things as well. Uh, just let me fix him up here because he's been falling down a bit. I also got the 6-inch uh, line though from the 2011 line. 6-inch, not the 4-inch. Which is pretty cool. And I also got the uh, entire Samurai Megazord. I'm just missing the uh, Octo Zord and yeah, that's just it. 
and the since I never actually made a full mega sword that's why I wanted to get all of these so and this is the only time I'm gonna get a full mega sword also and I also bought a whole bunch of red kai cards so rate come subscribe thanks for watching sorry this review was so long um also let me see what else was I gonna say um ah check out Brickhead's 98 channel right here for um a reason why he hasn't been posting videos and on uh, news and stuff like that he's he, he made one new video so just go check that out he it's about eight minutes long but he's explaining why and stuff so you know just please take your time he's been my friend for almost two years now or three years I he used to go to school with me so yeah um and also check out my update and Hurricane Irene did not come here like I predicted it was not even a tropical storm by the time it came here. It was just very little rain. Um, because I live in Boston as well. So, yeah, uh, thank you. And I'll see you guys later.